Today is August 5th. These are most important events for this day through history. In 1978 is born Carolina Duar also known as the Turk, La Turca, and La Colorada, an Argentine world champion boxer, who holds the World Boxing Organization Bantamweight title. Lewis Walsh, born in 1952, is an Irish entertainment manager and judge on British television talent show The X Factor. He has also appeared on You're a Star, Pop Stars and Britain's Got Talent. On this day in 1930 is born Neil Armstrong, an American astronaut and the first person to walk on the moon. He was an aerospace engineer, naval aviator, test pilot, and university professor. The Battle of Petrovaradin or Battle of Peterwardine was a decisive victory for Austrian forces in the war between Habsburg Monarchy of Austria and the Ottoman Empire at Petrovaradin, then part of Military Frontier, Habsburg Monarchy, today part of Novi Sad, Vojvodina, Serbia. At 7 o'clock on the morning of August 5, 1716, Prince Eugene began the Austrian offensive. After the defeated Ottomans were wiped out, Prince Eugene personally led his troops against the Grand Vizier's encampment. Supported by the guns of six frigates of the Danube fleet, the battle had been won by two o'clock, with the Grand Vizier himself among the slain. Barely 50,000 Ottomans returned to Belgrade. Soon, from Constantinople came a messenger from the Sultan with order of execution of Damat Ali. He is buried at the Belgrade fortress, Kolmadan, in tomb known as Damat Ali Passino Turb. The Wola massacre was the systematic killing of between 40 to 50,000 people in the Wola district of Poland's capital city Warsaw by Nazi German troops during the early phase of the Warsaw Uprising. On 5 August, three German battle groups started their advance towards the city center from the western outskirts of the Wola district along Wolska Street and Jiruska Street. From 5 to 12 August 1944, tens of thousands of Polish civilians along with captured Home Army resistance fighters were brutally and systematically murdered by the Germans in organized mass executions throughout Wola. The Germans anticipated that these atrocities would crush the insurgents' will to fight and put the uprising to a swift end. However, the ruthless pacification of Wola only stiffened Polish resistance, and it took another two months of heavy fighting for the Germans to regain control of the city. Nelson Rolielo Mandela was a South African and the apartheid revolutionary, politician and philanthropist, who served as president of South Africa from 1994 to 1999. He was the country's first black chief executive, and the first elected in a fully representative democratic election. His government focused on dismantling the legacy of apartheid through tackling institutionalized racism, poverty and inequality, and fostering racial reconciliation. On 5 August 1962, police captured Mandela along with Cecil Williams near Hick. He served 27 years in prison, initially on Robben Island, and later in Polsmoor Prison and Victor Verster Prison. An international campaign lobbied for his release, which was granted in 1990 amid escalating civil strife. Ronald Wilson Reagan was an American politician, commentator, and actor, who served as the 40th President of the United States from 1981 to 1989. In summer 1981 Patco, the Union of Federal Air Traffic Controllers went on strike, violating a federal law prohibiting government unions from striking. Declaring the situation an emergency, as described in the 1947 Taft Hartley Act, Reagan stated that if the air traffic controllers do not report for work within 48 hours, they have forfeited their jobs and will be terminated. They did not return and on August 5th, Reagan fired 11,345 striking air traffic controllers, who had ignored his order, and used supervisors and military controllers to handle the nation's commercial air traffic until new controllers could be hired and trained. On this day in 1895 died Friedrich Engels, a German social scientist, author, political theorist, philosopher, and father of Marxist theory, together with Karl Marx.
On this day in 2014 died Jesse Leonard Steinfeld, an American physician and public health official. He was appointed the 11th Surgeon General of the United States from 1969 to 1973. On this day in 1963 died Marilyn Monroe. She was an American actress, model, and singer, who became a major sex symbol, starring in a number of commercially successful motion pictures. Time is the longest distance between two places. Tennessee Williams, 